There are a few other alternatives how ER can be segmented. So this is the one that we got with the black and white trash holding. Now I will uh, add to selection and press Shift S to subtract it for all slices. <coughs> so another way is to use the magic wand where we just uh, define the let's see. So we can do the magic wand in 2D and 3D, depending on this uh, parameter here, 3D switch checkbox. So in 2D, if I just click on the... Uh, I define the variation so that I want to take the darkest pixels uh, in respect to the pixel that I uh, clicked to. For example, if I go zoom in here and click on the pixel that have intensity of... Uh, 110, I'll select all the pixels, all the connected pixels that are darker than that. Which kind of quite nicely uh, highlights the ER profile. So in this sense, what I just need to do, I just need to click on the kind of darkest uh, pixel at each of these uh, ER profiles to add it to the selection. And I do it using uh, holding the shift key. So something like that. And then uh, I can basically do it like uh, quite in the manual way, like object after an object, and add it to the uh, to my ER model. Uh, another way is uh, now we did it for the connected objects. If I just remove this uh, connection and then just click once, it will actually select it for the whole data set or for the whole slice. Or when this 3D checkbox enabled, it will actually select it for the whole, the whole volume. And it's in a way quite similar to the slow to the black and white trash holding which we uh, had on the previous step. It's also possible uh, the 3D option may work quite slow actually, especially when it's used to be with the connected components. But this dataset is quite small, so it's fairly fast. And uh, it's also possible to, to limit the magic wand action to a certain radius. So, for example, if I put 50 pixels. If I click something here, then you can see that the actual area that was selected is within this, uh, within this range. So, like you can see here, like a circle. So, it's more, it allows selection in the kind of local areas so that it won't spread that far. So, then you can just go and then. Uh, do the picking in this way, but it's quite many, quite a lot of manual work, and it's uh, not really that frequently may be used. But that's just one of the ways. Another way is to use some uh, additional filtering and mask generators, and uh, for that we need to get to the mask generator panel. Select, uh, for example, Frange filter. This filter allows to detect the elongated structures. Uh, and uh, um, I think the parameters that I have here at the moment are quite well for this data set. So what we, okay, what we'll do, we'll just filter the data using these parameters. It may take a while. Okay, the data is filtered, so basically you can see that the filter tried to detect the uh, elongated structures. There are a number of parameters here, you can try to check and the help on that. But maybe the... quite important is the stress holding of the results of the mask that is generated. Uh, well, anyway, so what we have now, we have this uh, a network. So uh, we'll just first step, again, we'll just filter it a little bit. Go to the mask, mask statistics, whole volume 3D objects, and the objects. Okay, maybe select the biggest one and see how it looks. Okay, well, it's quite all right. So we will press uh, Shift R. So we select uh, the uh, add to as mask and press shift R to replace the mask with the new selection. Now uh, the problem really that uh, these ER profiles they form this kind of sheets that are in the plane of our view and in order to segment those we have to switch the orientation to for example ZX and filter this 
uh, area again, maybe using the similar parameters or maybe 0.45 thresholding. But I don't press do it button, but rather I click the right mouse button above this button and then ask to generate the new mask and add it to the existing one. So when it's done, we have uh, we segmented the profiles in this direction as well. Let's switch back to this normal view. So we basically can see now that we were able to segment these areas when the ER has this kind of sheets in this direction. It's a little bit wide and it would probably be nice to have. But these things may be adjusted by modifying this black and white threshold parameter. Now I'll just run statistics on this again and pick up the one single big object and press uh, again to the mask and press Shift R to replace. So let's take a look on that. Uh, basically, this segmentation is better than the one that we we had with the uh, black and white thresholding. You can see that all mitochondria looks intact and were not really uh, were not really uh, picked. Now we, when we happy, well maybe, no, yeah, I think we're quite happy, well, except maybe this small area here. What I'll just do, I select the brush and I press S to remove it. Um, in, in this, uh, in the tools, there is a shortcut to fast select switch between the tools. It's the D shortcut. And the tools that can be, uh, uh, selected with this are defined with this D uh, checkbox. So for example, I want to work with the brush. So I select this uh, as the D and I want to work with the, for example, uh, black and white thresholding. So I click here and D. Now I press T, I will just swap between these two tools. If I want to add the third tool like 3D ball, I can select this, ball, uh, this tool in the menu and click T. And now it will go to brush, black and white thresholding, 3D ball, and so on. Okay, so now we we are quite happy with the result. Okay, brush. So we quite happy with this. Maybe basically this mitochondria for some reason was a bit picked wrongly. So now when we're happy, we can uh, select this mask by going to selection or mask selection all frames, replace, or by play pressing Alt A short key to select it all. And now we uh, highlight the ER in the add to dialog and press Shift A to add. Now we have these two models. Now we can save it. Uh, model, save model as, and uh, all this time I'll call it as the Franke. Save. And then uh, let's save it again in Amira Mesh to compare with the other one. Um, just, just the same. Now we can start a mirror. That's our previous model with the local black and white thresholding. Now we open the one that we generated using the Frangi filter. Let's generate them the same way. Okay, so what you can basically see that this surface is much smoother than the other one. And uh, uh, well, there are a few small artifacts in this one. And uh, in that, in this, it looks a bit more solid. But of course, like there are some missing parts, which probably there is a tube in this area. Uh, 